Hey everyone, welcome to another house tour. Today you join us in Clifton Village in Nottingham. I'm gonna be showing you around this property behind me, which is a six bedroom detached, brand new build, and it's priced at 925,000 pounds with William H. Brown. So it's just over 3,400 square feet in total, and it's on a development of three new builds, and also three converted properties that we're gonna be showing you. And it's all quite nicely centered around this tree in the middle. It is also a private, gated entrance which is just around there so you can drive all the way in and then this is well the largest new build plot um, in the development and so behind this is a converted building a couple of these have already sold but this one on the end as well is also going to be coming for sale so we're going to come back and uh, tour that so make sure you stay tuned but now let's check out this property so let's start on the exterior and check it out so you can see we've got off-road parking for two to three cars fairly comfortably and then a double garage with an electric door it is on a corner plot, so you have a wraparound garden, and also this front garden does belong to the property as well. Let's check out the inside. Welcome inside, so let's check the interior out. Before we give you the full tour, let me just pop the floor plan on the screen here so you can get your bearings of the room dimensions and the layout of this property. Now, if you're new to our channel, Summer and I are an agents. We tour some of the most amazing luxury houses throughout the UK and also a lot of new builds. So make sure to subscribe if you wanna see more amazing houses. Now, on the ground floor, we've got the WC through here. There's an intercom system with the electric gate. The property is also fully alarmed. We've got hardwood flooring throughout the corridor and the hallway. Now through these double doors, this is the living area and it's fairly unique to what else we've seen because you have the living space here, which is carpeted. And then through here, this is the sun lounge. And so this is a you know, brick built structure, uh, another great room that you could either use for dining or just have some extra chairs out here to take a look at your garden. There's then French doors out of the room just here and lots of windows around, so very bright in here. And then we've also got another set of doors here, so quite easy to make the most of that in an outdoor living. Now, we've also then got a, another reception room through here, which could again be a formal dining room, another lounge, snug, also with doors to the garden. This is the home study. And do come on in, because it actually, goes around there, you can see quite a lot of space to work with. So you could actually have a desk in that corner and then another desk here. So very comfortable for two people to work from home. And then it's got a window looking to the side of the garden. Now through another set of double doors, this is the kitchen entertainment area. And a great choice, I think they've gone for a dark kitchen, which adds some warmth to the space. We've got the center island with a lot of storage and also quartz worktops. It's, if you can't quite make it out on the camera, it's a dark navy color, I would say. And then we've got the wine fridge just here. Let's check out the rest of the kitchen. So we've got the sink here. And here's the Bosch dishwasher. Oh, by the way, I know Summer and I usually talk on both of these tours, but only one of our microphones is uh, working today. That's why you can't hear Summer, she is here. Hi everyone. <laughs> <laughs> um, so here's the Bosch microwave grill. We've yeah. then got a warming tray underneath and then the Bosch oven. And we actually missed actually the Bosch induction hob that's over there. And then the extractor is above. Yeah, usually at this point I'd be talking to someone and we'd kind of be having a chat about our thoughts, but can't really do that as much today. I like the LED lighting. I'm not sure, yeah, if there's the mic closer to me. This LED lighting. I know it's a, some people like the LED lighting, some people don't. Yeah, some people, that's right. Um, what we've got over here, we've got storage cupboard with our bags in. And below that, some more storage. And then this here is the fridge and the freezer below. By the way, I know we've mentioned this one time before. I still see a few comments about it. It's perfectly fine to have a modern fridge next to an oven because of the insulation. And some people think, why would you do that? But it actually isn't a problem. All right, we do have a utility as well with the same um, style units and quartz worktop. And then through here is the door to the integral garage. Let's check it out. You know, the greatest thing I think that they've done here, and I always see this on houses um, and I never quite think it makes sense, is it's far better, in my opinion, to have a double garage with one opening door 
because when you have a double garage but it's two tiny doors you actually can't use it for cars so it's that's a lot better in my in my eyes and then there's also a door to the garden actually check out the boot room just through there you know storage is very important on new builds and so just by having that there if nothing else it can be storage for you i think it would be good if you had a dog like yeah a dog's room. dog's room yeah good idea and then of this side of the room, of course, there's space to have a relatively large table, quite easily, you know, six seater or something, breakfast table. But let us know what, what you'd use this space for. Okay, so much. Shall we check upstairs? Do you want to lead the way? Yeah. Okay. Just taking over the microphone from Matt. With the muffler. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go upstairs. Okay. So the stairs are on the right as soon as you come through the main door. Upstairs, there are six bedrooms, um, two with ensuite and then a family bathroom. The corridors, it's kind of like an L shape, the landing, but let's start, ooh, I always don't know where to start. Should we st start from this side? And then go all the way to the master bedroom. There aren't any furniture in here at the moment, but this is um, a double room. You'd get a double king size bed in here comfortably. And this one has its own ensuite. These are called Gemini tiles. You've also got an LED mirror there as well. And there is Vista sanitary wear throughout the bathrooms. Let's go to the next bedroom. Oh, this is a little storage cupboard. If you pop your head in. Next bedroom through here. A little bit smaller than the one I just showed you, but you'd get your bed facing this way, and this looks out to the back garden. On the left of me, another good sized double bedroom. Not too sure what else to say because no, there's nothing there's no else. Furniture. Yeah, it is. nice spotlights on the top. What's in here? Okay, that's the oh, water the tank. Name? Come into the family bathroom. Similar tiles to the ensuite but you do have a um, bath in here and a separate shower. Okay, moving down this side of the landing, here's a great double-sized bedroom looking out to the front. Also, point these out. Yeah, so these are kind of little glow lights. They bring the natural light in, don't they? Yeah, there's no light. It's just, it's connected straight to the sky. So it's almost like a skylight. A skylight, yeah. Another double bedroom. So six double bedrooms? Yeah, six double bedrooms. Um, I think they're all good sizes. The, what, there is one that's a little bit smaller, um, but you'd still fit a bed in. And this is the master bedroom. You might be thinking, obviously the ceilings are sloped, but I am five foot seven, I think, and yeah. you know. Your bed would be at the end, wouldn't it? Yeah, your bed, bed would be coming out here, and you've got a walk-in wardrobe, so you wouldn't need any wardrobe spaces. But in the middle of the room, the ceiling height is Hi. Here's your walk-in wardrobe, so you'd put wardrobes up here, maybe on this side too, or maybe like a dressing table here, and your ensuite. So you've got a separate shower, toilet, and vanity sink. Okay, shall we go downstairs and check out the garden? Okay guys, we're back outside now. We're gonna walk around the side um, entrance and check out the garden. As Matt mentioned, it's a corner plot. So the garden at the back wraps around all the way around here. This is the door from the garage um, that we saw. Yeah, I think it's a pretty decent garden for a new build. I love that there's a few trees in the garden too. Yeah, that's about it then guys. We hope you enjoyed this tour. Make sure to hit like and subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next one.